Good evening. Hey. I'm Shannon. This is my genius son Isaac, and this is Training Thought Science. Today we're talking about beer and how it saved the world. Yes. Many times. Many, many times. It established modern society. It established math. Many systems such as agricultural systems, irrigation. But we'll start on a timeline from the earliest to the latest. Before beer, we were hunters and gatherers, meaning that usually the men would go out and hunt and the women would go out and collect plants and they would move every season with the movement of the animals. You're getting a bit of a pause here. With the movement of the animals. So, th when they discover beer, first I'm going to go about how they, how they discover beer. It's theorized that there were ancient clay storage vessels that they would collect barley in. Which, which we knew people would use in Mesopotamia to storage <laughs> devices for food and other products. Yes, because we found many fossils. But it's theorized that there was one with barley and... No fossils, but, you know, broken pots and so on. <laughs> barley in it and it was left outside and it was rained in which allowed it time to ferment over three days not exactly three days it just usually takes three days to ferment when you're using barley but the hunters came back from their hunt and having not no abundant very abundant water they just decided to drink that and they decided it's not that bad, so they decided, using, I'm repeating words a lot. They decided to, cult, to teach themselves how to cultivate it. May make it clear, it has been theorized by researchers many times that this is how we originally, uh, not discovered, but found out about beer. It was more than likely an accident. So they decided how to, to teach themselves how to cultivate barley. So they just devise systems for cultivation. And because they are cultivating it, they and growing it and farming it, they could not move with the change of season. And because of this it created the first permanent civilization known as Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia means between two rivers and the rivers are Tigris and Euphrates. So that was the start of it. It also invented the systems for math because farmers of barley had to had to create a system for division of the borders between plots of land, farmland. And moving on to ancient India, they invented many ingenuitive contraptions for the purpose of irrigation and just more more uses for agriculture. In India and Egypt, some of them welcome the floods and use it to their advantage to irrigate crops. Well, that's, here, that's kind of awkward. But in Egypt, beer was the common currency. Workers were paid in beer, and with the pyramids, the workers of the pyramids were paid to build them because the old beer, the original beer, had a lot of nutritional value. A lot of nutritional value, value which kept them going and kept them healthy. The workers were paid with beer. Beer was literally a, a currency, a money. Yeah, leading to its antibiotic properties. And, and, uh, and also, beer back in Egypt, the recipe for beer then had a lot more nutritional value than it does today, including um, some antibiotic properties which is tetracycline. Tetracycline. And speaking of the properties, the old beer had 3% alcohol, but a fun fact, today's strongest drink is around a little bit more than 60% alcohol. I think it's snake venom. Is that, is that a beer? Yeah. Wow. More than 60% alcohol. I'd be drunk off of this. If, if you drink... Yeah, something yeah. like, you'd be drunk off of a shot. Yeah. 
Let's keep this going. Yeah. Oh, I thought you paused it. No, I okay. didn't. <laughs> so we were in Egypt, and they paid the workers to build the pyramids. And the money that they had to pay to get a pyramid was a quarter billion gallons of beer. 250 million gallons. Which is a lot. And uh, let's, uh, Egypt, let's move on to the Middle Ages. Yes. This actually did literally save many, many lives in the Middle Ages. It also led to the discovery of America. Yes. Okay, go ahead. In a way, but we'll get to that Well, later. ensured the discovery of America. We'll get to that in a minute, but with the Middle Ages, with all the, all the new technologies and productions, companies that produced goods would simply dump, dump their wastes into nearby bodies of water, making them unsafe to drink. And if you drank it, you'd most likely die. So they were very toxic. And beer, you could take any water from any contaminated source and brew it into something completely harmless and good for you. Human waste. Yes, like human waste sterile. in the water. Yes. But they didn't know back then that it was a boiling process that sterilized it. They just didn't make it taste better. They just knew that beer was sterile enough to drink. As a matter of fact, uh, okay, uh, the Black Plague, right? The Black Plague? Or bubonic. Bubonic Plague. Um, that was one of the ways that we got past it. Uh, we knew that drinking the waters was a, was a reason for catching the bubonic plague. I think I might be wrong on that. It was carried by rats mainly. It was carried by rats, but uh, the, the way they sterilized water to keep from getting sick in many from many different diseases was simply to drink beer from the moment that a child quit uh, drinking milk from its mother. The first drink that they would have is beer. It um, was no question that children could have beer. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, no one would drink straight water. Because of the it, From Europe. I mean, they, they learned about beer and straight water was just very uh, dangerous. They seen it as a very dangerous thing to do. So with the discovery of America, it wasn't actually the discovery, but it kept the sailors going because when they're sailing, sailing to America, like we said, it was about 80% of their diet, beer. So that was a large portion of their food, and they ran out, with, which caused them to have to go to the nearest point on America's land. Yeah, it, it, okay, it changed your landing point in America. Is, uh, what, 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 what was the landing point? That Virginia something. Virginia something, but it was more northerly on the east coast than uh, Columbus was planning on landing. Yes, Columbus. So be, be, because it, we ran out of beer, and we actually met the natives, and they offered us water from the pristine streams here in America, and we refused to accept the water. We had to process it into beer before we would take the first drink. And the way that we process it into beer is with acorns, which is very neat. They could, you can make beer from acorns. Acorn beer. I've never had that. Also banana beer. You banana can do beer. that in Africa. Okay. Okay, what next? Really? Anyway, there was a lot more, but we had to do this in a hurry. Right? We put this off for two weeks and we're actually in a hurry now. But anyway, um, beer has saved our society and pushed um, technology. Chug, 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 chug. That's not a good thing for Father Son to tell him to do. But uh, until next time, in our next talk, there's been Train of Science. Good night. Good day.